Hello YouTube, this is Nerwolf. Today I'm going to show you how to use this camera. It's a large format 4x5 Intrepid camera, but the things that I'm going to show you apply to all large format cameras. So don't worry about it. If you're really interested in to begin with large format photography, stick around. I will give you some pointers. I will tell you what you need and also how to use this type of camera because it is a bit of a learning curve it's not just click and take a picture like modern cameras but i have to say once you start with these kind of cameras you will be smitten you will love it and you will keep on going with this forever it's really really nice hobby so uh yeah here we go oh yeah and before i forget please like and subscribe then i can make many more of these videos thank you First off, what do you need? You need a camera, you need a sturdy, strong tripod that can handle enough weight, you need a shutter release, then also you need a dark cloth, very important this one, and a film holder. And last but not least, you need a lens. A shutter and a lens board. All these items you see here they're all from different brands and that's one of the beauties of large format photography. You can buy a lens from one brand, shutter from another brand and just put them together it will work as long as they're for the same type of camera. For instance this is a 4x5 camera, 4x5 film holder and the lens is also suitable for 4x5. We can use a different lens that doesn't really matter. Then the shutter also is universal, you can use it for all kinds of cameras, even small cameras. Just in between, if you really are thinking about buying all these things, mind you, they're quite expensive. So if you're thinking about large format photography, but you don't want to spend all the cash, another thing you can do is buy one of these. It's a very, very cheap old camera. And look, it also got bellows. It also got all the adjustments, same as this one. So this one is 10 euros and you can just put in photo paper. If you want to see how to make a roll of photo paper to use in this camera, so you can take 12 pictures one after the other. You can look in uh, one of my other videos. I'll give you a detailed explanation how to do it. And this one, yeah, like I said, only 15 or 10, 15 euros and that's it. You can already play with it and see if large uh, format photography is something for you or not. This is medium photography, uh, medium format photography, but still it gives you good insight if, if it's something for you or not. Now I will show you very fast, very quickly, how to take your first picture. So you set up your camera, then if you want to take a shot, first off you need to open the lens, here there will be a little lever you can adjust it you can open the lens so then you can see through the ground glass here at the back what you want to take a picture of now if you want to if you're looking through the ground glass you can adjust with these knobs the sharpness of the image so first just adjust adjust until it's sharp enough then you lock it a bit then you can find the desired f-stop, so f5.6 for instance, you see the diaphragm might get smaller. And then you need to readjust, looking through the ground glass. And while doing this, normally it won't get a very clear picture here at the back. That's because the sunlight is actually disturbing the image. To make sure that there is not too much sunlight, you cover the camera with the dark cloth, like so, and then you can make, again, adjustments. Once you made the final adjustments, you can fix the camera here with these knobs. You can put in your film holder, like so. Don't forget to close the diaphragma, otherwise if you open this, the film will be exposed. So, we'll close the shutter. Then, 
you need to adjust this because normally it's on T to be able to open the lens wide open. You need to adjust it to the correct timing like one second, half second, one hundredth of a second. You can adjust it here with the dial. So I put it now at one second. And if you would shoot, see, up one second shot. So this is now fully ready to take a picture. Take out your dark slide. Place it here on top so the sunlight can't go through the little gap at the top of the film holder. And then you're ready to take your first shot. Look at your subject and then press on the shutter release. And what happened? Nothing. That's because it's a very old shutter and sometimes, voila, it doesn't work, but now it does. There, you got your first picture. Be sure to turn around your dark slide to the black part. So then you know this part of the film holder has already been used because you got two sides. So now everyone can see it's dark, it's black. This one, this picture has been taken. And then you can switch to the next photo. Open it up, take the shot, turn it around to the black side and take it out. There, you took your first pictures and then you can go and develop them. Now, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. I'll make many more of these. Bye-bye.